Okay, let's get started. You can see the actual hole. It looks a lot bigger than it is, but I'm going to take a ruler and put it next to it. And you'll see that it, you know, it's not all that big. Um, it's about maybe an eighth of an inch, a little bit under an eighth of whatever. But uh, that that has rusted through. You know, that's that's has to be repaired. You could go without repairing that, but you might as well go ahead and get it um, because it's so thin. Uh, it, you know, you could clean the rust up and everything and put some um, inhibitor on it, but it, you know, just go ahead and do it while you while you're doing the rest of it. So um, what I'll do is um, just I'm gonna take a hammer and kind of tap that in and create craters around this. This is also good to do around the um, the windshield frame or the window frames and stuff for those dog legs they rust out because they collect water and trash over the years they'll rust out um, that's it's an excellent way to repair that you know um, if that's where you want to practice at first if you know you have a car that's kind of got a lot of rust in it practice on th those parts first because you don't hardly see those parts once the uh, the when the glass is put back in the car First thing we do, we want to hit it with a wire wheel. Uh, don't hit it too hard because if it's already thin, it'll go ahead and it'll burn. It'll burn too much of it off and you just have a larger hole. And you can see it's on a grinder. Um, wear safety glasses because these wires, uh, they, they, they come out because this thing spins at a high RPM. When I get home, I have these things sticking to my clothing. So just imagine if that went into your eye. So just uh, protect yourself, wear some safety glasses. Man, what a difference. I didn't expect that, but that's what you get when you uh, break off, you know, something and you, you know, you think you don't want to chew it, but look, that's what we have, so we have to deal with it. So um, I'm still going to fill it up and just, uh, it, it'll take a little bit longer, a little bit more material, but uh, it will work. To make the crater, uh, you, you might want to use a punch. It makes the perfect, you know, hole or whatever. And I'll do a little bit on this one just to show you what's going to happen. If your hole were perfect like that this works good but if you have a hammer with it like comes with a hammer and dolly uh, set body hammer just use the, the pointed part Probably should have cut that out. Um, I didn't expect it was, going, it was going to get that large, but still going to try it though. I mean, it's worth a try because um, I know I can do it. So what I'll do though is I'll take something and I'll get there and I'll loosen that scaly rust up. I've already repaired the underside. I actually uh, took a welder and repaired the underside because it was uh, it was minimal on, on the underside of the trunk lid. So anyways, 
you know, take something and get that scaly rust out, blow it out real good. And when you finish the car, you can take, I have a little tool that I made, I'll show you some other time, that I can get inside of there and I can put it from the backside, from the holes that, you know, accessible from the backside of the uh, trunk lid. And I can spray my uh, rust inhibitor or encapsulator, you call it, down in there and it lasts forever. I mean, that's guaranteed to probably outlive you. So it's not much to worry about after you do that. After you put your lead in and you got your body work done, go behind it, spray that rust encapsulator. It encapsulates it and uh, I mean, it's good, man. They got some good stuff on the market, so it works well. Okay, I have to throw a disclaimer in here. This is not a video on how to use body solder. I'm showing you how I repair my pinholes or it's much larger than the pinhole now. And, uh, but so if you want to know how to use the, the uh, body solder, you can go find a video that shows you how to use it from you know beginning to the end. But this is what I'm going to apply uh, next. It's the tinning butter. You can use an application brush, but I just, um, I use a, a, a cotton, um, like a little hand towel or whatever. And I take it, get it in there real nice um, you know you really can't put too much on it but you want enough on it so that it'll tin up What's, what what this is doing is it's like a primer it's putting a coat of um, tin on it so it the lead will stick or the solder will stick to the to the metal um, that's pretty much all it's doing. And I know once I do it, it has a little acid in it, so it's gonna, it'll want to rust around it or behind it, but I'm okay with that because I'm gonna go behind it with the rust inhibitor once I finish all the body work. And I, just like I do all my cars, I coat, I coat them inside out. You know, if I send them off to get them dipped in acid or whatever, and you can watch a video about the Mustang that I did. It won't show you actually a car getting dipped, but you can see where it started at and where it ended at. And in between, we sent it to a uh, dipper and, uh, and they dipped it. And when it comes back, it's all bare. You have to coat those cars from inside out. If not, they'll leak rust if they get wet in any way. So um, you have to, I put that car on a rotisserie and coated it inside out so i'll do this car the same way once uh, right before i paint it so anyway this is what i'm using um a little map gas it burns a little bit hotter than the other the one in the blue can you get this at uh, your local hardware store either way um you know just i'll show you how to heat it That's going to get it. I almost forgot this little one over here, but I think it'll take. Um, let me grab my lead. This is what I'm going to use. Um, you get this. I got it from Eastwood. They sell the whole kit, or you can just get the lead or whatever. Um, probably best to get the whole kit. You get like the tinning butter. Um, uh, they call it, um, this is, you get the wooden paddles, you get the files, and you also get, it's kind of like a, a paddle, a tallow or something like that. It's, you know, it's kind of like a, you kind of can um, lubricate your paddle so the lead doesn't stick to the paddle. I haven't really lubricated this one. I can't find my lubricated paddle, but the lubrication lasts a while, you know, well, not a while, depending on how much you use it, but... Uh, I cannot find my lubricated paddle. I don't have any tallow, so let's hope this works out okay. Before I get started, you're going to heat this a little bit and, uh, you know, at the same time, heat your panel. 
like I said, if you want to know how to do it correctly, uh, go to a video that shows how to do it. That one. It's just easy as that and uh, hopefully it took and I'm going to uh, file it off I won't show you you know me filing it off or whatever so let me file it off and then I'll show you what it looks like okay I'm gonna show you what I um, I have on the respirator so I'll sound different but that's why this is what I sanded it with it's a 36 grit on about a I think it's a three inch um, pad and I, I grind it off you can use anything you can you can file it off or however you want to do it but let me show you right quick how I do this with this And that's just a rough coarse cut. You can take a fine file and go ahead and file it down. All right, all done. And that's a that's a good repair. I mean, you can see this one a little bit. You can see this one because of the angle of the camera and the lighting. Um, you know, I filed it and I just hit it with some 200 and then hit it with some 400 to, to check it. And I'll go back and I'll hit it with some uh, like 180, skim it with filler you know, put a little uh, glaze on it, you know, with, with filler or whatever, body filler, and you're good to go. So I hope that, you know, this helps out uh, whoever that's out there trying to do this type of work. Uh, it's much better than trying to weld, you know, and it, it, it lasts. It, I guarantee this for the life of the car, uh, for, for my life, uh, for, for that matter, it's not coming back. So. Anyways, I hope you liked the video and uh, like it and share it. Thank you.